Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Random Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went up to the lighthouse, and we have to go across the thing, and Celine wants to play with me. We have to go across the ocean to go and uh, rescue things, but before I do that, to go rescue the Ampharos on top of the tower by getting medicine, something like that, that that's what we're doing, right? But before we do that, basically, I'm going to catch two Pokemon. The reason being, as you can see, the next routes here are both water routes, Route 40 and 41. Uh, they're both water-only routes, so I can't actually catch Pokemon there in the wild um, because of the whole surf glitch. So, you know, if everything is working properly, I'd be able to catch two Pokemon here because they'd be randomized. But because they're not, and I miss out on two routes because of that, I'm going to catch two in 39 just to make up for it. I mean, the way I see it is, they also have two routes over here and the Safari Zone before I go to uh, the next gym. Which is good, because um, it would be nice, honestly, to get a flying type just so I can, you know, have the ability to fly... Because I don't have anyone who could fly yet, and that's going to be annoying. And plus, you know, I just want more variety. We've lost a lot of Pokemon recently, and I just kind of want to get some variety to sort of make up for that. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Is this cheating? Who knows? Who cares? Um, let's catch a Pokemon! That's the plan. So, are you catchable? No, you aren't. So I will wait. I will uh, get back to you guys when I get some that that is. Oh... Hello, you're a Kabuto. I have like every water type in the world right now, but like that's actually an interesting one, and I am okay with this because I've never tried a Kabuto before, and that actually sounds like fun. So maybe you would be a very nice asset to our team. Granted, you're not a flying type, so, and you're not, it doesn't really help my purpose, but like you're still pretty cool, so, uh,. Headbutts, it's not very effective, so this shouldn't kill it or anything. No, it did, like, nothing, because it used Harden. That's not even gonna, like, make progress, actually, uh, but... Might as well do it anyway, because I don't want to kill this thing accidentally. So, the slow process of catching a Kabuto here on Channel Loki 70 x How is everyone doing as I just slowly headbutt this thing to death? Man, oh man. Also, ceiling level leveled up, and I don't think I even said anything during that time, because I wasn't even paying attention to that. I just know he's level 28 now. Oops. I I really am, like, the best LPR ever, obviously. Don't harden, you're just gonna make things harder for me. Ha ha ha! Oh god, I'm horrible. Um, it's getting close to the point where I can catch it, though, at least. <laughs> Sealing with his headbutt and flinch shenanigans, just not ever gonna let this guy attack. Look at that. Flinch, headbutt, flinch again, flinch again. No, oh my god, that's actually a ground-type move! I was not expecting this, it didn't really do that much, but I was not expecting this. Uh, let's go ahead and catch it now. Um, I need to catch more, I need to go get, buy more Great Balls. I'm actually kind of low on balls. Go figure. But seriously, what is with, like, the 50 million water types in this run? Like, what the actual heck? This is just getting kind of silly now, with how many water types I'm getting in this run. I am Misty. Obviously. Uh, great ball? Balls? Balls. Wasn't I was Misty in, like, the Pokemon uh, Pinball one, too, which is kind of funny. But there we go. Kabuto has been caught. We have now caught a Naruto character. Way to go. Way to go, Naruto. Uh, this is fun, though. I know I have, like, 50 million ground types and uh, water types, and it doesn't really matter, but, like... I want it anyway. Anyway, I'm going to name this one after... Probably LP, not many of you know, but, uh... Used to be on a team of him long ago, and he was an, actually the inspiration for my Pokemon trading card game LP, so he deserves a shout out. It's me pressing the wrong button and accidentally screwing everything up. Um, there we go. It's Bushy. I totally screwed that up. We'll check him out in a little bit. Uh, for now, we're going to catch another Pokemon. So, uh, unless this one's it. Which, it, it? Really? We, do we need more water types? This is just getting absolutely absurd at this point. That being said, I'll take it. That being said, actually, you could be very useful to me. So I'm okay with this one. Um, it's a Surskit. Just water types. Water types everywhere. Uh, what would be not very effective against water bug? Uh... I don't want to, uh, Tamal's strong though, I was like, I could do a, a mock punch, that might kill it. Um, where's another Proton John? 
This seems like the best bet to me. Because I don't think... Actually, uh, I should have brought my... Uh, if I had brought my freaking... what What's it called? Um, this hopefully shouldn't kill it. Quick attack, wow. If I had brought Primplup... Uh, Metal Claw would have been a nice choice here, because I know it would have been, it would be uh, not very effective, but no, that's fine. Uh, ground type moves, but not very good against Buggy. Now, the nice thing about this that I can see coming up here is uh, a Water Bug type would be very useful against a certain Pokemon I'm, uh, and I need to fight later on. So, this could certainly be a thing. I will be the Water Trainer, just. What the actual hell? This is just getting silly. Oh, I can use a netball? I don't have a netball, do I? Sad face. I was gonna be like, netball! Because they're good against bug types! Yay! But I didn't ever get one, and now I'm sad. These things shouldn't be hard to catch, though, so... Yeah, that was easy. So... Oh, there we go, you know? I made up for two water routes by getting two water types. In the end, you know? Everything was okay. So, you are an interesting Pokemon. That being said, I'm pretty sure it doesn't uh, end up... Um, it ends up a bug flying type, if I remember correctly. So, I need to name this... Uh, I'm going to name this after another little El Elpeer uh, that I follow a lot, who's a really good Captain D. McGee. Going to name it Capitan. Captain after it. So, uh, yeah. Wrong genders all around! Awesome times. Let's go check out their stats. Uh, because, you know, that's a good way to actually do this. And I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and train them uh, right now. So I'll make a little cut for uh, training purposes. And get them up to usable air, um, usable levels so we can actually start using them. Because, you know, why not? The nice thing is, though, I have, like, two types that are... Like, I have some types that are really good against... Uh, grass types and really good... And I have a couple types that are really good against electric types. So with that being said, you know... I still have an actually decently balanced team thanks to this. So you're relaxed uh, with, with Swift Swim, so you know, t totally defeats the purpose. Um, but you know, extra defense, I'm always okay with that. Reduced speed's kind of eh, but I'll take it. And you are not any of the Pokemon I'm looking for. What am I looking for? I am looking for the Kabuto up there. You are sassy. You also have Swift Swim as well, which is kind of funny. I can make a rain team! And this one's better special defense and lower speed, so... I'm just getting bulky waters everywhere. That's kind of funny. Because they all of them have had defense boost- or like, some sort of defense boosting thing. I mean, boost is def his worst defense. I, I guess I can take that. Uh, so, yeah. Incoming training montage go, I suppose? So, uh, Bushy and Captain. We're gonna go ahead and train them both gonna be good times. See you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, wanna see something kinda cool I just realized about Mr. Surskit here? Cause you know, Surskit's actually kinda cool cause it has sweet scent. And that's actually a move you can use on the wild to make Pokemon appear in the grass. So if you need, ever want to force a Pokemon to appear, you use that and then random legendaries appear. And that's okay. Back to training. Alright guys. Level 22, I believe this is where Sirske evolves. So, uh, evolution time. Now, the thing is, and I'm going to quickly talk about this, um, Sirske learns level, or Bubble Beam at level 25. Masquerade does not. So, I could technically have stopped from evolving to get Bubble Beam. However, if I would have done that, I would have missed out on this move which is Gust. Now, Gust, obviously, is not that very good of a flying-type move, um, but it is Stab, because Masquerade's bug flying. So we um, get a Stab flying move. It's only five base power left if you factor in Stab. And it's super effective against the type that I want to use Masquerade for. So as much as I like Bubble Beam, I'm going to forego it for... Uh, oh, by the way, I taught Ice Beam as well. Uh, I'm going to forego it for Gust, which might not be the... I don't, I'm not sure how good of an idea that, that is in the end, but I think I'll be okay. So, uh, Masquerade, going to learn Gust, and now we have ourselves a new Evolve Pokemon. I'll go ahead and just quickly check it out, because there is one other important thing about Masquerade, and that is its ability, which is Intimidate, which lowers the foe's attack stat upon entering, which is actually kind of nice. So we have, you know, buffed defense, and we have Intimidate, which makes this thing actually a decently good against physical threats, maybe? I mean, as you can see, its defenses aren't really that... Well, it's actually better than Slim's, so, uh... 
His defenses actually aren't, aren't as bad as I thought. I mean, Sunny's obviously way better, but it's not much better than uh, Marsh Stomps, actually. So, actually, it's better than Marsh Stomps. So, it's not even that horrible of a Pokemon. It'll certainly be useful for the next gym. So, uh, Masquerade, welcome to the party. Holy shit, I thought I was dead there. Camera dude. You just so happen to be right here. Sure, we can go ahead and get a picture taken. Why not? Because that's always a fun time. Anyways, back to train. Alright guys, and we are back. As you can see, I've trained my Pokemon up to level 27, including Slim, because I decided, you know what, I kind of want to keep Slim around, so uh, I trained him back up. He hasn't really changed at all, and so not really much changes his moveset. Um, I did not train Kabuto, because I already have so many water types that I just don't really seem the point. It's, in my opinion, the weakest of the, of the, of the three that I have, and um, also I got a Masquerade now. Which hasn't, like I said before, has Intimidate, and uh, here's his moveset. Nothing that really changed since the last time I showed it, but uh, it's actually surprisingly good for the defensive stats compared to a lot of my other Pokemon. Well, I guess not that great, but um, it can actually take some physical hits pretty decently. In fact, um, it almost has a lot, it's only 6 off the highest, and it has Intimidate on top of it, so it's actually a decent physical stall, especially good against um, Fuddy and Grass types because of its uh, 4 times resistance to that. Which is why I taught it Gust, even though it alerted another uh, water move. And I guess overall, Butterball Beam's a little bit better. But if I ever need a water move, I can teach it. And this, this is a team I can teach it. Uh, unfortunately, I can't learn Surf. That wouldn't make any ounce of sense. But now that we finally have that done, we can finally... G okay, I was like, you are not. You better not be Mr. Fuzzy Pickles dude over here. Reference to Earthbound. I've never played Earthbound before, though. Um, before we can go there, though, uh, the Battle Frontier is over here. It's a thing, but we can't actually go to this yet. Um... That's going to be something we have to do later, because this guy's like, I'm first to arrive, and I'm going to block your way because I'm a douchebag who hasn't slept for days. That's not healthy, Mr. Everyone looks like the camera dude these days. Everyone does. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't turn that code off, and I'm going to need to have that code off for surfing. So, uh, yeah, be right back. Okay, so that was the thing. Uh, anyways, now that I'm actually, you know, is there anything, is there anywhere we can go over here? No, okay, there isn't. So, basically, it's time to surf and go to the next route and uh, make it to the next town. Which, unfortunately, means copious amounts of tentacle everywhere, because that's how it always goes. And copious amounts of swimmers, but that's what we're going to do. So, uh, we'll see how long it takes. Probably, I'm actually not sure how long this episode's been, which is the problem. So, um, I might just, like, keep going till I make it to the next town. And then sort of stop and assess times afterwards, because I don't quite remember. Unless I go, unless I have to, well, I'll probably do plenty of BRBs, so, uh, oh! That sucks. Can't even get intimidated off in this guy. Not that I'd expect it to really need to do anything. Uh, Gus is probably the best option here, given that Ice Beam is not very effective. It'll be nice once uh, I start landing some bugs. That thing, the only problem is this thing doesn't have that much damage. I mean, it's not a horrible special attacker. And Ice Beam is still a pretty good move to use. But unfortunately, you uh, know, it's not the best. The toxic Spikes, no, I'm not gonna actually. I'm not gonna switch Pokemon ever. I don't care about your Toxic Spikes. Actually, do I have Tamal with me? Because I could totally switch in Toxic Spikes and get the poison, and then get the resist from, or get the healing from that. Granted, it doesn't work outside battles, so it sort of defeats the purpose, but uh, it's still pretty interesting. So, Masquerade's definitely a more defensive bug type. That being said, you know, defensive and bug don't really go very well together, because bugs in general just are squishy as all heck, and obviously any sort of rock type move will just kill this thing instantly. Although, if you, I, I don't remember if I put this in the, mo um, the montage, train montage or not, but I survived an ancient power, so uh, it's actually decently bulky, all things considered, especially in terms of bugs. Poison's not going to do anything to this guy. Er, no? Okay, I thought bug resist poison. Bug and poison, it might be the other way around. Um, they're, those are types I just don't really remember very well. This thing does just not do any, any bit of, like, reasonable damage at all, which is kind of sad, but uh, what can you do? What can you do? This thing will be more sort of a utility defensive wall sort of thing later. Well, actually, it'll get better later on. But I can give it some uh, decent moves. It'll be okay then. But uh, until then, it's probably going to be one of the weaker Pokemon I have. But I have a reason for it. And Intimidate's actually pretty helpful. So we'll keep going with it. Unfortunately, it's going to be taking a lot of damage from these trainers and the Pokemon. I haven't actually never run to a Pokemon yet. I'm surprised. I'm rather surprised by that, actually. So, uh, yeah, that's always good, I guess. 
And it's a star you. Excellent. Well, uh, this thing can get intimidating, that's always good. So, intimidate that thing. Still can't use bubbler. I, uh, oh, okay, no. Camouflage failed. I guess it's a water. It, camouflage returned to a water type when you're over the water. That would make sense. Uh, I know. Oh, really? Really? Are we, is this the game we're gonna play? The recover your health game? Because, you know, that's just really rude. And actually, I'm actually doing over half anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Um, if this did 60... Well, its attack stat isn't as good, so I don't really trust it. Okay, it's not gonna matter. I was gonna say, I could try to get a quick attack in and kill this thing off before it recovers, but, uh... I... Oh, and I got a critical hit anyway. So, it doesn't even matter. So, yeah. Experience, always a good thing. She lost that one, that's for sure. Uh... Items! I like items. Pluck! This will basically let you eat berries from your opponents, which is a uh, kind of interesting. It's a flying type move. Uh, actually, someone can learn it. I know Genius can learn it, but there's like no reason why I would want to do that. So, um, I mean, I guess it's kind of useful because a lot of the gym leaders use citrus berries, but in, in general, it's not really that useful. So, uh, yeah, probably won't be using it that much. Anyway, you are a swimmer, and I want to fight you. Fight? <laughs> okay, just sort of followed me for the longest time there. I sort of followed her for the longest time. I thought she would turn around a lot earlier than that. But, here we go. Another star you. These battles are going to be kind of long, actually, just because I can't kill these things that fast. That's a little saddening. Uh, hopefully I can go faster than that. I mean, the fact that I'm relaxed sort of ruins that. Rapid spin. That did one damage. Oh, man. Star you isn't the best Pokemon starting out. It definitely grows into something amazing just because of all the teams you can teach it, but starting out... It's not really that great. I'm going to be a little careful as HP, though, because obviously uh, this thing's going to get uh, worn down pretty fast, so I don't want to die. Not after how long I took to train this thing up, then again, it's going to be pretty close to... Okay, you could have an ice move. So I don't want to fight you because you can have an ice move. So Slim, it's been a while since we've shown you in a battle. Let's go ahead and show your stuff. Slim's actually really good at countering water types. That's why I brought him uh, specifically for this, because... Basically, water types can't do anything to me, really, and I can just do a hit... Really? Really. I can just do a Hidden Power Electric and pretty much finish this thing off in one hit, because a Hidden Power Electric on a water type is actually really useful. Because water types in general don't get uh, very good means to fight, you know, their own type. You have a water move, you have an ice move, and that's really it. I mean, some of them like Empoleon, which I hopefully um, will probably learn, teach Empoleon this move, uh, but they can, they can learn Grass Knot, which is kind of useful, but uh, in general, you're usually stuck having to use a Hidden Power, so very fortunate I got Electric on that one. Anyway, you're a swimmer. How about I go ahead and fight you two? I haven't fought a wild Pokemon yet. That's just... Did I, like, turn off all wild... No, I, that's not even a thing. I think I'm just really fortunate, which makes me happy. Uh... Actually, I probably could use repels at this point, so maybe that might not be a bad idea. Uh, I didn't put a repel on. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. We're not going to fight just in case of water moves. Or, not water moves, uh, ice moves. I have learned my lesson about that. Unfortunately, bug flying is weak to a lot of types. Ice, rock, fire, flying. Um, it has good resistances. It's a good thing I switched out, because that is an ice move. And that's actually going to do... That would have probably killed it, honestly. Granted, it's not doing that much damage, but, uh... Actually, a, a, is that a physical move or is that a special move? I think it's a physical move, so it probably wouldn't have, but, uh... Anyway, that's a dead Shelter, definitely, so... Bye, Shelter! You were cool, but now you're dead. The end. I don't think this will be enough to level up, uh, Captain, though. No, unfortunately not. And a War Turtle! I'll just go ahead and keep this in and just do the Hidden Power shenanigans and kill this thing off pretty quickly. I, I think War Turtle's more physically defensive, so this might kill. That being said, it's unstab, and I actually don't know what the base power of Hidden Power is, because uh, it varies depending on your EVs, so it doesn't seem like it's actually that high of a base power. Then again, it's just a, it's just a not a shell, a shellos. So many shells in this video, what the heck? Shells everywhere! And that's all exciting stuff, so yeah. Gonna kill the War Turtle. Slim's gonna get experience, and Shelter's gonna come in, and then we're gonna kill it. So there we go. That should be the end of this trainer battle. Quick and easy, just the way I like it. You dead yet? There we go.
Okay, so critical hit, doesn't matter. That would have killed it anyway, as we've demonstrated a few times. And Slim's already almost at level 28 as well. Which is interesting, because uh, as you guys uh, might know, level 30 is an important level for a few of my Pokemon. Um, okay, so I've fought all you guys. Where are all the wild battles? Are they just, like, not present here? We're already on Route 41. Okay, yeah, there they are. See, they are on. Just, holy shit, I've never surfed that long about a wild battle. That's just mind-blowingly, blowingly. Uh, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this level up, and, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, Captain Gross at level 28, and doesn't learn anything, of course. I'm pretty sure it tried to learn something pretty recently, but it was some sort of shit move, so I didn't even bother with it. Anyway, let's just go ahead and put a repel on, because, you know, I don't want to... Even though I haven't, like, run into any battles for some reason, I don't want to run into any more. So, uh, we'll repel all those things. And we'll switch Slim in, because Slim is pretty close to getting a level. So we'll go ahead and get a level for Slim, and all will be K. Is there anywhere to go over here? Um, so Route 41 just sort of circles around this island, which will become uh, more important later on in the game. The island here, not really much we can do at the moment. Like I said, uh, later on, holy crap, that is a lot of Pokemon. It's probably going to be all tentacles, and that's going to be a little obnoxious. Goddamn. Um, Mud Bomb actually should be super effective against Tentacle, if I remember correctly, because ground water doesn't resist ground. Yeah, and that does a lot more... Oh, well, actually, that's a crit, so I can't really tell if it is more than him, Power Electric, or not. But um, it does do quite a bit of damage, which is good, so... Oh boy! Tentacles everywhere. How exciting. Man, oh man, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Maybe I can actually, really? Uh, this is actually gonna, I might be able to get through uh, to the next town in this video, even. Uh, this is going a little quicker than I remember it, these routes. Uh, which is good, because lots of surfing is really annoying. Uh, I'm gonna have to experiment to see if... Uh, I I'm kind of curious now if the Hidden Power uh, Electric is stronger than this Mud Bomb, because Mud Bomb is base 65. So from there, we can maybe judge how much the base power on Hidden Power is, which is something I'd be curious to know. Even though we leveled up, I'll do one more fight just to... Because I want, I, I want to know. So that was a level 17 Tentacool. This is a level 16 Tentacool. So let's just sort of judge based on that damage, because they're both super effective. They're both unstab. So this does... the full thing. So maybe it actually is a full power uh, Hidden Power Electric. Because that actually one-shot it, and that actually surprises me, so... Well, this one's a level 7. You know what? What the heck? We're just going to keep going. Toxic... Okay, now I definitely wanna, don't want to switch out, because I don't want to get poisoned. Um, so, like, yeah, this is level 17, so the Mud Bomb did... almost killed it. So this is should be the same level this time. And this one... does a little bit more, so given... You know, that could actually be a base 70 full power, hidden power. I, th I mean, I'm not sure if it varies like that, but, uh... It could be. I don't know, I really don't know, uh, the, the mechanics are hidden power, I usually don't use hidden power that much, so... I'm not actually that aware of the mechanics. I think it works something like that, though. The Remoraid! Hello, Mr. Remoraid, sir. Um, I could switch, I'm like, I, I, I could switch out, but at the same time I'm gonna get poisoned. Unless I switch to PK, in which everything will be fine, because he won't get poisoned by Toxic Spike. So let's go ahead and train PK next, just because... The world of Toxic Spice, tick tick that, and I hope you don't do a water move, because that's going to hurt. I mean, of course you did a water move, and that actually is going to hurt. Maybe this wasn't the best idea I had in mind. That actually didn't hurt that much. I forgot, PK's a BC, he doesn't die to anything. And he has Thunderbolt, so uh, we should be fine from now on. PK is fast, surprisingly, so... Uh, a Nidoking King this early in the game is just, like, broken beyond broken. He will just carry all the things. Uh, and a Staryu. Shouldn't be that big of a threat. Thunderbolt will finish it off in one hit, I'm pretty sure of it, because, you know, PK just, he doesn't give any shits. He just goes out in there and Thunderbolts all the things, and all was K. So, there we go. Extra experience. And that swimmer's done. Don't you dare. Okay, hi Chad, what's up? What do you want? Yes, I'm awake. I don't care about the radio show. No one... Okay, thank you for that tidbit of Pokemon knowledge. I should just call Joey one day. Just preemptively call Joey. Just for shits and giggles. Why not? Anyway, we're gonna go... Uh, can I get through here? Okay, I can. Let's go around here and see if I missed anything he over here on this end. I missed a lot of trainers. Okay, yeah, there might be more trainers over here than I thought. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. And if the video just ends, and like the next video doesn't begin, that just means I didn't really know where to end it. So, uh, it just makes sense. Well, then again, look at the time. Well, the thing is, I don't, I'm not totally sure how much those catching parts are going to take up in terms of time. So it is kind of a bit hard to judge. I guess I can do a few more trainers and just see if that ends, out, uh, ends up working out or something like that. Uh, that one was actually a quick trainer, so... I'm actually not sure how close we are to the end of this area. I mean, there's a lot more trainers over here than I remember. Holy crap. And there's a way down there. There's a way up here. Just all sorts of complications. This, kind of, this place... I always hate the water areas because it's just so hard to tell exactly where you are in the grand scheme of things because everything's just sort of blue and rocks. So unlike the other areas where you have like on the patches of grass and all those landmarks, like the water, you're just sort of like wandering out there hoping you don't miss anything and it's so easy to miss things and I really do dislike that kind of, but uh, it is kind of the way I guess the whole water mechanic thing works. I don't know, I'm just sort of rambling on about stuff and things now. That Shelter is almost di that Shelter died, as Tentacool is going to die. And then whatever Pokemon comes after Tentacool will die as well, because that's just what we do here. We just kill Pokemon like it's nothing. PK, the unstoppable force. How we're battling a Nidoking King in the middle of the ocean. I don't really know, but apparently it's a thing. Uh, nice stat growth all around, just because it's a Nidoking, King, it's what it does. A Tentacruel! Oh man, now we're getting into the intense stuff. Um, the best person to take down a Tentacruel would be Proton John. So we're going to, uh, we're going to fight him with Proton John. Because I can just go ahead and use a ground type move and do major damage. I did give uh, Proton John my Silk Scarf so that Strength can do extra damage if I need to. Just because I don't really have anyone else who uses normal moves at the moment, so why not? But uh, Mud Shot should do a pretty good amount of damage. That's about how much I expected it to do. And a speed decrease, that's okay. I'm okay with that. And a critical hit, I am not okay with that, but uh, Mud Bomb should be able to finish this thing off as well. Between Mud Bomb... Oh, actually, I'm not going to keep either of those moves, because um, Swampert does learn Earthquake, so I'm going to teach that at some point. Because why would you not teach an Earthquake? It's, it's an Earthquake, for goodness sake. You got Prune Skin. That is something we did not need to know, good sir. Did not need to know that in the slightest. I guess we'll just, like, sort of... There's nothing else up here now. Okay, so we've been up in this direction. We're gonna keep heading down this direction. This is a whirlpool. We can't do anything of that yet, which is why we can't access that island. I forgot that I hadn't fought you yet. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and fight you then. That's not the Seafoam Islands. What did I call it? The Seafoam Islands? the Whirl Islands. I'm a freaking idiot. Goodness, goodness sake, Lucky. You're just, you're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. Anyway, strength. Strength! go ahead and just beat up this Goldeen. Um, with the Silk Scarf, yeah, that's going to be an easy kill. Goldeens are not the most powerful Pokemon. They do get pretty good experience, though, surprisingly. So, uh, that's always good, I guess. More experience always makes me happy. So, we'll go ahead and bully this Goldeen to death. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and just end the video here. Because I think it's going to be about the length of a video at this point, so I'd have to end it here anyway. I know I'm very, like, indecisive, but, like, it's kind of hard to judge. Make a, I kind of have to make a judgment call, like, on the spot, which can be a little tricky when there's no a Sea King. F yeah, Sea King. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and strength. It shouldn't kill it in one hit, unfortunately, but uh, I should be able to two-shot, I'd hope, at this range. Two-shot? Two-shot, yeah. Easy, definite, definite two-shot there. Wow, you are getting all of the crits, Proton John, and that kind of makes me a little bit sad and disappointed. But that's okay, we still love you. <laughs> and a revenge crit. And that actually that should actually be a level up right there. So level 28. Excellent. And that would be it for this video, guys. So this is Lucky70X, signing out to the next episode. We can continue surfing, and hopefully at some point we can end up on the next island. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time from our Pokemon. Bye-bye.